you know, how much is too much? And for the pastors that are watching this and the uh, maybe the uh, maybe the church board uh, budget committee mm-hmm. trying to figure out what mm-hmm. can we spend mm-hmm. uh, on our PA system, is there kind of a rule of thumb? Like yeah. how, how, if, you, if you spend X number of dollars building your church, how much did you spend on sound? Yeah. Yeah, the the rule of thumb there is, I mean, this, this is approximate, but I've been told that if you've got a new building campaign and you're building a new sanctuary and uh, you're going to install a sound system, that 10% of your budget should mm. be allocated to wow. your your sound and lights kind of system. So if so. you build a uh, $2 million church, uh-huh. $200,000, yep. $200,000 for a sound system. Yep. Did I just hear... Somebody fall off of the chair. <laughs> uh, was that you, Pastor? Oh, maybe it was your, the chairman of your board. But uh, again, going back to what we talked about when we started the session, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Uh, you're the pastor of this church because God has, has raised you up to be the pastor. You're the worship leader because God's put you there. It's so important that the people can hear what God's put in your heart. It's not about an ego. It's just it's about it's about making your your building. It's just facilitating and equipping it so they can hear the message and receive the word of faith and act upon it. It's it. I don't want to over spiritualize it, but I can't stress enough the importance of addressing this issue in your churches. Mm-hmm. 